Hello and welcome back to Uncle Robot's laboratory. So that's my H quad uh, that I had uh, I had it built a little while ago, and there's a kind of long flying machine flies bloody one of my longest flying copters so I just decided to rebuild it there's a few things I didn't like I didn't like the landing gear because I had my clover leaf uh, I had my antenna pointing down so this one I brought it up so uh, my setup stays the same it's the Hextronic uh, 1300 kV motors um, uh, I replaced the ESCs with a custom these are custom built ESCs rated at 14 amps could fit them in the tubes but I did, didn't want to mess around with the wiring anyway so just when I crash it it'll, 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 it'll be easier to, to repair it stuck the canopy on for no particular reason rather than the looks that's from the kids heli canopy spray painted and doodling a bit with the, with the marker on just uh, left it on for us to see what's in there uh, Pixim Seawolf camera 6, 690 TV lines uh, I'll be using a 32 channel bus cam receiver that's my homemade homemade clover leaf decided to try with the PCB on we'll see how is how, how is it gonna get on I'll take off I'll take off the battery um, batteries here zippy compact 3.7 amps I will get to that later that's the best bit of it so uh, instead of a KK2 I replaced into the NASA NASA 32 board on the exit R receiver I ditched those PCB antennas because they all they were giving me trouble if you watch my last video that my copter nearly flew away and I, I replaced I replaced antennas one of these uh, where you can get on Hobby King or elsewhere you can get them these are the these are the 60 centimeters but I I got the 40 centimeters and I chopped a little bit and I solder soldered them on uh, and placed them placed them properly that's my Ramsey OSD in there just about in the canopy to squeeze the finger to reset I got my GPS mounted a bit on top uh, Model discovery buzzer, there's a lipo buzzer, DIY video filter, um, ESCs are opto, so I'm using the uh, 5 amp, 5 amp UBEC. So, the best part of it, once I upgraded the batteries to Zippy Compact, it gave me 25 minutes of hovering style, like DJI style hovering in front of your nose. But 25 minutes is something is something really amazing. That's my that's my best record. What I could possibly what I what I possibly had actually. So let's check up the flying the all of flying weight. Now what do we have here? We have here 771 grams. Now, when I was when I was testing it with this all of flying weight, that would that is that is roughly the maximum flying weight that I would like to have in there. Like I could stick in even a bigger battery, but Asha, ah, yeah. not gonna, not gonna, not not gonna, not gonna chance it. Uh, the props are eight by three point eight, and it hovers at a fifty percent exactly throttle. So throttle is smooth like it doesn't have that much of a punch uh, as as it had with the four but uh, eight by eight by four and a half props but uh, four and a half pitch props they reduce me the hovering time uh, bit around near, nearly nearly two minutes so I will be looking at this for the sort of a easy flying longer range longer range thingies I know I know that there's a hovering is a big difference between hovering hovering and flying so even though even though if it were reduced uh, five minutes I will still get 20 minutes up in the year with this thing so once I will upgrade to LRS system then we can start talking about the long range right so so much for now Mini H quad will be coming shortly for the review as long as I will give it a good few flights. Okay, bye bye.